Hey there, this is Ben Lipper here. Today I want to talk to you about strategy. So in order to be a really good competitive robot, there's really two things that you need. First, you obviously need a really good robot and a good driver. And then the second thing you need is strategy. You have to know what things to score. And so what I want to show you in this video is some of the strategy tricks that I found out that have actually allowed me to score some of the highest scores on the planet. So, right here, I've got a strategy map. Um, it's just a picture of the field. And if you want one of them, there's a link in this video. I'll send you a blank one. I'll also send you uh, all the drawings that I'm about to draw in this video so that, you know, you can access them, you can look through them, print them out. I don't know what you want to do with them. All right, so this is probably one of the simplest strategies. The goal is to score 38 points. It's a little bit funny, though, so I want to walk you through it. So basically, what you do is you start off just like you normally would. You come over here, score this riser in here, but before you go, you're not going to go down the rest of the line yet. We want to pick up this stack. Uh, there's a few reasons. I'll explain why at the end of the uh, strategy. But basically, you pick up this stack, you stack it on here. Then we're going to come over, grab this middle riser, put it in the goal, grab this end riser, and put it in the goal. Now, if all went well, you just got 38 points. But chances are, some matches all won't go well. And likely what will happen is that big stack that we made at the beginning, that thing is going to fall. Um, and... The reason we made it there and not at the on this last riser is because look what's right next to us. We can, if it falls down, instead make this our stack. So that allows us to, rather than trying to save a shaky stack, we just score that bottom riser and move on and say, all right, I know there's another stack waiting for me. I can go grab that when it's time. And so we can stack that on and still get our 38 points. Additionally, if you do your 38 points, maybe you have an awesome match. Maybe you got 20 seconds at the end of the match, and you're like, hey, I could totally make this second stack, and now you're up to 70, and you have our second strategy. So, first strategy, 38 points, you get that L-shaped thing on the side of the field. You get 70 if you kind of make it into a U. Then, you're looking, and you're like, all right, I want to get 102. Now, this is where a lot of teams mess up. The middle stack, this one right here, is a whole lot harder to build than the edge two. So, here's how you do it. First, you do the strategy we just did to get 70 points, and then you look at the clock, and you say, all right, I got 20 seconds left. I can still do this. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, grab this riser, grab this riser, stack them on top of each other, uh, however your robot does that probably, and then stack those ultimately on top of here. And the reason we do it after is because oftentimes what teams will do is they'll get the first stack. That one's easy. Then they'll go for the second stack, and they'll get caught up on something. It's, there's, when you're trying to stack these three rises, it's really easy to get caught up. And so a lot of teams will end up dropping one, or it won't work, and they'll spend the entire match on the second stack and score like four points. Now, well, your goal might be 102, I'd take 71 over four points any day. So that's why we go for first the 70, guarantee those points, you know, get them on the table, and then you're like, all right, now let's see if I can go for 102. Once you get this full set of nine blue risers stacked, that's your 102 points. That's pretty awesome. If you're looking at this and you're like, all right, I can do that, but I want more, here's what you do. So you're going to grab this one just like we did, score those 70 points. Don't worry about the middle stack. That one's hard. We're going to drive across this nice little path between the orange risers here and head over to the purple side, and we're going to do the exact same thing except backwards. So triple stack here, single stack here, triple stack here, and boom, we've got ourselves 140 points. Now, if you're a really fast driver, you finish this, you're like, I still got a whole bunch of time left. Guess what's right next to you? The ability to make one more triple stack. The way you do that, you pick up these two risers, stack them on top of this riser, and now you just scored yourself 172 points, and you're getting up towards the top scores in the world here. All right, like I said before, if you know you want these guys, there's a link in this video. I'll send you all the drawings that I just made here, and um, I'll send you a blank one so you can make your own. But go ahead and try these out. Let me know what you think. Some of them are probably better than others. You know, leave a comment under the video. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you at the competitions this year.